This is the finished water cooling jacket. It wraps around the heat rejection end of the cryo cooler. All the parts are from Home Depot. Didn't cost much at all. And the cooling, it would take about an hour and 45 minutes with air cooling to get to somewhere around minus 300 Fahrenheit. I did that in 23 minutes. So I have my Sterling Hybrid 98 cryo cooler. And I want to try and make a water jacket to cool it better, maybe get, you know, faster. Um, faster cryogenic temperature acquisition. This is the motor. This is the rejection, heat rejection end. This is the cold tip. I have seen on the internet some 3D printed uh, housings for water cooling, but not everyone has a 3D printer. Came up with the idea of using some rubber um, pipe couplings. And I think I can get this on just about right. Use this, have it down here. Put an outlet port here, an inlet port here, punch a little hole and seal it for the power cord, and use these clamps. So I'm curious to see if this can serve as a good water cooling jacket. So let's give it an attempt and see if this works. This is the tricky part in making it watertight where the power cord needs to go in. So I tried some various holes. My plan is to have this come from the inside out. I'm going to use some thread sealer in the hole area here to make this tight. I'm going to have my PVC pipe in here with the clamp. So this upper part here, this part right here, should be watertight. I only need to worry about right where this hugs against the rubber, and hopefully I can do that. So it seems when I'm trying to put a water jacket around here, water is getting in through here. And even when I've tried to seal here, there's little cracks along here that the water's tracking. So I'm going to try some of this liquid electric tape, which should put a vinyl coating on there and keep it nice and sealed. Whoa, this is pretty liquidy. Got my... wire protected there I don't want and I've got the body protected I want to get this over the cryo cooler just gonna put a nice coating around it we'll do coating for the part that's going to be in the water. This is the finished water cooling jacket. It wraps around the heat rejection end of the cryo cooler. 
an inlet port, an outlet port, the clamps. What made this possible to really get rid of the water leaks is first of all, I used just some thread lock, which is a mixture of you know Teflon pieces and um, the dope material here. And I have it here at the interfaces. And also, because this cable had some cracks in it and the wires go through in the other end, you need to use a liquid electrical tape. And this is now waterproof. All the parts are from Home Depot. Didn't cost much at all. And the cooling, it would take about an hour and 45 minutes with air cooling to get to somewhere around minus 300 Fahrenheit. I did that in 23 minutes using an ice bath cooling um, the hot end. So give it a try.